founded in 1993 to determine the world's strongest stand-up fighter. The first K1 Max show of the year, the World Match Japan 2010 Tournament, March 27th from the Saitama Super Arena Community Arena. Yeah, hard to explain, it's the little one in the back. The tournament kicks off in the first bracket, with Ryuji making his second appearance in the World Max Japan Tournament against Yoshihiro Kido, the winner of the 2008 World Max Japan Tournament and who came in third in the World Max Japan 2009 Tournament. The winner goes on to face, it's also in his second appearance in the World Max Japan Tournament, Yurochiro Nagashima, the, uh, well, we'll call him colorful for now, but basically the cross-dressing kickboxer who uh, kind of took Max by storm last year. And he's going up against, well, the guy that we might call Mr. World Japan, Taishin Kohibui Maki, better known as Kohi, the winner of the World Max Japan Tournament in 2004, 2005, and 2009, as well as placing third in the World Max Tournament in 2002 and 2004. And let's not forget that he also was a finalist in the 2002 World Max Japan Tournament. This guy is basically the ruler of the World Max Japan Tournament. On to the other side of the bracket, we have Hiroki Nakajima, who crushed 70 kg, or the max weight limit in uh, K1 Max, 2009 tournament champion. This is his, also his max debut. His opponent is the seasoned Tatsuji, who was the K1 World Max Japan tournament finalist in 2006 and 2007. And let's just say, this guy's been around the block a couple of times. The winner of that bout goes on to face the winner of this one between. Hanata, the 70kg champion of the RISE organization, making his fourth K1 Max appearance. And Yuya Yamamoto. Yamamoto, coming off of his breakout year in 2009, was a finalist in the Japan tournament last year, just narrowly being defeated by Kohi. And then, after Kohi was injured, it went in to replace him, and actually came in third place in the World Max tournament. There's no sham in going down at the hands of Giorgio Petrosian. So look for him to make a good showing this year with Masato going and, and the K1 Max looking for our new Japanese ace. K1 looks to expand its grasp on the weight classes in the world as they take on the new 63kg weight class in the Max division, which a little bit lighter than the 70kg division. And we get to see the return of Takehiro Murahama, best known as, well, the shoe boxing champion back in the day and then an Osaka pro wrestler, and then, well, kind of a punching bag over the past few years. But he's had a long career, don't always count him out. With Murahama fighting his natural weight, look for him to actually be a quite a threat in this new division. His opponent making his K1 debut is Kosuke Komiyama. Komiyama's made a name for himself in some of the smaller promotions out there, and now with K1 Max opening up a 63kg division, it's perfect for him who has won tournaments at 60kg. We don't really know what to expect from this other than insanity, as Kazuhisa Watanabe, the adventurous, will call him, boxer with the heavy hands who likes to show off and kind of act like a punk against a guy that Dream fans will know, but, well, DJ Taiki, who's known for having heavy hands as well. Neither one of these guys ever backs down from a fight, and DJ Taiki's not exactly known for his ground game, so being the 63 kilograms in K1 Max might just be the ticket for him. The big super fight of the night is Giorgio Petrosian, 2009 World Max Tournament Champion, against a very worthy opponent, Yoshihiro Saito, the winner of the 2006-2007 Japan Tournament, and who placed third in the 2008 World Max Tournament. While Saito might not exactly have all of the tools to rip apart Petrosian, it will be a decent challenge for Petrosian, who was out for a while with a hand injury, and only had really one fight this year. So stay tuned for this as K1 kicks off its year with the K1 World Max Japan Tournament coming at you soon, probably on HDNet if you live in the US. And if you're in Japan, you probably might actually get to see a lot.